Hey, what's up everyone? Checking out Benzo ROM 5.1 or with Android 5.1. It is running the build number LMY47D. Now I do believe an E version came out with some updated radios or what have you. So it might get updated after this video. You are going to have a lean kernel with this ROM and that's a great kernel. You do have update process here in OTA. So I don't know if this works completely, but if not, you can dirty flash and you'll be okay. Now you are going to have a lot of options and settings. You are going to have a minimized or compressed or condensed version with Benzo in here and it's going to have your benzo extras and you are going to have a kernel manager so this kernel manager is actually really nice it's going to display all of your information right on the screen here so you can look at all your values and information on the kernel you can also go in here and check out your frequency table which is going to show you all of your frequency values how long they were on or online so you can get an idea of what is going on if you need to and you can adjust all of your values based on the information and settings here. So a very nice solid kernel integration. With the Benzo Extras, you will have an ad blocker built in. You can turn this on, but do make sure you update the host files. You do have an LCD pixel density DPI adjustment in this actual ROM. Now the equalizer does feature the Viper for Android and you can adjust this based on your headset, the phone speaker, the Bluetooth device or a USB dock so you can turn on different equalizers based on your devices. You do have Pi controls which is going to feature LMT launcher. This is baked into the ROM. It's going to be pre-installed and it's a great navigation, custom navigation if you are going to disable the bottom lollipop nav bar. In the animations you can adjust the system, the toast, the list view and you can adjust other certain list view values within the animations folder here. So that's very nice to have that built in. You do have heads up notifications and you can obviously disable them if you do not like that feature or you can go in here with the timeout and place it on never or you can go from two to 10 seconds and you can put in do not disturb or blacklisted apps. You have your nav bar and button settings here and you can enable that nav bar as I mentioned or disable it. You also have a pretty nice left handed mode if you are going to be left hand oriented so you can change that on your landscape value there. You can also adjust the button layouts so you can edit this and add more features. You can take features out. You can probably adjust the icons if you want to or add additional pages. And if you make any mistakes along the way, you can reset it and start over or just go back to the default. You can also change the nav bar dimensions, both in portrait and landscape modes. So you can change that, make it really big with the 52 DP, or you can go all the way to disable, or you can turn it to 24, which is super small. You also have navigation bar rings that you can enable. If you disable it, it will no longer feature Google now. So be aware of that. But if you do enable it, you will have to come in here and edit it and place your application or whatever trick you want to be applied and then you'll just basically hit that save button right there and it will then indeed have your applications or whatever you set as your values you can restore the defaults if you want to disable that or go back to the defaulted menu or settings you also have your power menu option and in here you can customize anything you want to be placed within the power button toggle so you can get some advanced features do be aware that the reboot or advanced reboot will have to be adjusted through developer options. It is disabled by default. You can wake up the device with the volume rockers, but if you are going to use playback control, the wake up device will overwrite that feature, so be aware of that. And you can, of course, reorient the volume buttons or rockers when you are in landscape. In the notification drawer, you can adjust the quick pull down toggle based on a right or left handed value. You do have an auto close panel, so if you hit one of the toggles like the flashlight, it will automatically close the quick settings or the status bar and you can adjust your quick settings or your toggles and the tiles based on your priorities. I do want you to be aware that if you do want to use the advanced detailed settings you will need to show the enlarged first row. So if you go in here and toggle that off you won't get the advanced detailed settings. So make sure that you are aware of that. If you disable this it will just be a simple on off uh, toggle. So be aware of that. In the status bar area, you can adjust the clock. You can center it. You can place it on the left or right. You can also add AMs or PMs. You can change the date to display what day it is or what the date is. You can obviously use upper or lower case settings and you can completely modify the date format. You do have weather that you can enable in the header bar up here if you want to have that function. And you have your clock widget settings where you can adjust all of the values for that specific information. You do have your battery style icons based on portrait landscape and your circle text or hiding the icon completely. You can place the percentage value inside the icon or next to the icon or disable it completely. Uh, you do have notification counts, tickers, you have your super user indicator and your brightness control which is going to adjust the brightness if you just slide up and down from left to right. 
on the status bar. In the lock screen extras, you can adjust your weather settings. So if you want to see your weather displayed in the lock screen, you have that feature with this specific ROM and you can customize pretty much anything you want depending on colors, icons, timestamps, and locations. You do have colors that you can adjust as well on the main screen if you are not going to use the weather or if you use both, you can adjust both and make them work together. You also have lock screen shortcuts so you can disable the phone or the standard um, camera up there if you want to and you can turn this off by hitting none on both you can obviously put them back to the default values if you want to go back to and revert to the original settings or you can select a specific application to launch from those toggles. In the recent settings, you can adjust the search bar to be placed in your recent. So if you want that Google search bar up there, you can choose whether or not you want to disable this or feature that up there at the top. You can put a clear all recents button if you want to as well, and you can place that both on top or bottom in any general area. Do you have a baked and built in screen recorder? This is going to go all the way up to 720p. In the sound settings, you are going to have the option to link your ring and notification volumes together if you want to use that. I am going to note that if you push on the volume rocker, you can get into quick toggles and get to more specific settings. And that's pretty nice. You also have the standard toggle to go straight to vibrate or your original volume control. You can use the increasing ring volume and set volumes based on that if you choose. You also have vibrator intensity with this ROM, so you can adjust that based on your strength values. In live display, you can adjust your color temperatures, and this is pretty awesome. You can use automatic mode, you can disable it completely, or you can set day and night values. So in the color temperature, you will have your day and night. So you can set up your day color profile and your night profile and then toggle those. You can also set that up in the quick settings if you want, so that's pretty sick. In ambient display, you have a lot of useful information if you use this feature. You have ambient display that you can enable. You also have a mode setting where you can enable full mode, pocket and shake, pocket and pulse, pocket, shake and pulse, or use the default which is pulse. You can use overrided string values and you can enable different settings in the time intervals. Visible duration can go anywhere from one second to five seconds. The fade out can be placed from 200 milliseconds all the way up to two seconds and you can change up these shakes or the actual shake uh, intensity. So you can adjust those values and calibrate. You are going to have double tap to wake and double tap to sleep functionality in here. So you can choose to double tap on that status bar to sleep or double tap to wake the device and they function really well. You can come in here and adjust the battery light. You can turn that on or off. You can change up the values if you want to. Your notification lights, you can get pretty specific. You can use custom values and change your applications. You can even add specific applications and choose what you want to have displayed in color modes with your LED notifications. You have system profiles with this ROM and you can obviously use this to toggle on or off. You can set your toggle values and you can adjust this based on your power menu preference if you have that option enabled. You also have a privacy menu and in here you have your privacy guard which will block personal data from being used based on applications you select customized or you can use this by default if you want to have it enabled with each application that is freshly installed. Um, you do have a blacklist here as well so you can blacklist certain phone numbers or keep people from calling you if you want to have that. But yeah, that pretty much sums it up. This is Benzo ROM 5.1 and it is running Android version 5.1 with a lean kernel. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, I will catch you in the next one. Peace.